Hello. <laughs> I know you love this bag, don't you? Hey, Yarny friends. Welcome back to my channel. If you've never been here before, this channel is all about yarn, crochet, and whatever other kind of craziness that is involved in yarn and crochet. My name is Ginger. I am the Yarn Geek, and today I'm going to show you some stuff I've been working on. But before we go any further, please click that like button if you like my yarn wall. And if you uh, like yarn channels, please subscribe to mine because you'll be seeing a lot of yarn on it and crochet. So anyway, as you guys know, I have been in a social media funk. It, I'm, so I haven't been posting a lot of things. That's because my brain has been off of the posting and on to the crocheting, which I guess that's a totally good thing because that's how I decompress. That's how I get readjusted to life in general is just sticking my head in the yarn and crocheting. So let me show you <laughs> what I've been working on. As you may know, a couple of weeks ago, I made one of Bag of Days, oops, I need to tie these. Whoops, one of Crystal from Bag of Days little dish towel dresses. I'm obsessed with these. I'm making tons of these. This is, whoops, let me tie the edges here. They have these little, little ties on the sides. See, isn't that cute? It's got the little ties on the side. It just hangs right over the handle of the oven. And you tie it on the edges right here and it's it's like that. So it, it hangs. So I came up with a genius idea of making one that's a little bigger for my granddaughter so I can put it on her like a bib. It's really cute. I'm, I'm not all the way done with it yet, but uh, <laughs> What a great idea, right? Dish towel. Did I say dish towel holder? I meant to say dish towel. And bib. So thank you, Crystal from Bag of Day Crochet. This is my favorite dish towel in the world. So I'm obsessed with those. I'm making those. And that yarn I used was Hobie. Oops, a little end I need to weave in. Hobie 88 Friends Cotton wonderful yarn okay the next thing I made was I I'm getting on to turkey stuff because Thanksgiving is coming and look at this dish towel okay this is kind of the same way you you put this part over <laughs> I know it's a turkey look at those eyes this is the first time I ever did like an applique face on anything and it wasn't too bad I made the circles I sewed them on it's a little wonky looking but like, see, this is the oven thing right here. You put this thing on there. And then you bring it through like that. So it's hanging on the oven like that. If that makes any sense. I mean, I need to have a knitting needle or something, but it's like that. So it hangs like that. Isn't that cute? I'll put the link for the pattern that I use. This isn't my pattern. I use somebody else's pattern. And I'll put the link down um, in the description for any of the patterns or links to tutorials that I have that I'm showing you of these things. I changed mine a little bit. The brown was supposed to go about down to here. And then there was just one row of red, one row of orange, and one row of yellow. But I wanted to use more of the colors because... This turkey's got a big tail. I want him to have lots of colors. And you know, brown is good, but I like to have some of the colors. So you'll, that's the difference you'll see in the pattern that I'm linking and, and this one right here. So anyway, cute, gobble, gobble, ready for Thanksgiving. Now the next if thing. If you like Thanksgiving, you're gonna love this. <laughs> because <laughs> I was like, hmm, that's something different that I've never made before, so maybe I should just make it. And this is, a, I'm setting it up. It is a bag, uh, but it's an odd bag. Hello. <laughs> I know you love this bag, don't you? <laughs> it's like, what? I do need to tack the legs a little closer in to the turkey, I think. 
because it should be maybe like that a little bit. They're kind of like flying out by the sides right now, so they should be a little closer to the sides. I just need to tack in those little elbows. And you notice it is upside down. I was like, why? Why is that? And so it's like this, the turkeys lay in here. The opening is where you stuff the turkey with stuffing. So I guess, <laughs> I guess that makes sense too. But it is a bag, it's got a cute little tie so you can carry all of your stuff. I just put some stuffing in it for right now uh, just to give it kind of like shape. I'm gonna put yarn in it, but it was kind of bulky and weird looking, you know, with not that it isn't right now. But if you too would like to make a stuffed turkey bag, I will put the link. <laughs> because why not? I think it'd be cute to put little backpack things on it and then wear it on your back like a backpack. I used Red Heart yarn for this. This is acrylic, Red Heart acrylic. If I'm going to make it for a real bag, I think I'm, I would use cotton, you know, like I'm going to actually carry it around. I would use 100% cotton. Oh, I forgot to tell you. On this one, I used, what yarn did I use? Oh, these are, actually, these are all the Just Yarn Premiere from Dollar Tree. I got into that part of my stash and I got those yarns. It's a four weight, everything that I've used, that I've shown you so far is four weight yarn. Okay, so Thanksgiving things I have shown you. Oh, 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 I'm not done with this. This is a little coaster that I'm crocheting. I'm not done with it yet, but I'm working on it. It's another pattern, which is totally cute. I just need to weave in the ends and put the feet on. I just haven't finished it yet because there's only so many hours in the day, right? As you can see, I've been trying to use up a lot of my scrap yarn, so there's that. Oh, I want to show you what those other two Thanksgiving things look like in their natural habitat. So there's the two little dish towels I have hanging on my stove. They're hanging right there. Another thing I've been working on is this. It's a hexagon rug for my kitchen. can't really see it. It's on the back of the couch right now. I'm going to make it a little bigger. It's about three feet across right now. And it's just two strands of four weight, just cotton by Premier that you can get at Dollar General. And I've got, I'm, I'm going to put a Pico, that basic Pico stitch around the edge of this when I'm done with it. But I've still got some more yarn. I've been using scrap yarn for that too. Oh, this is a rug I made. Sorry, it probably needs to be swept. That's what, that's the same pattern for the rug that I'm making right now. I made this one, I don't know, six or seven years ago. It's a rug that I made with sheets, just sheets torn into one inch strips made into a basic hexagon pattern. So you kind of get the idea of what this rug is going to be, the cotton rug that I'm making. Now, last but not least, here's my turkey bag. It's sitting on the table next to a pumpkin because why not? It's just uh, one of those things. Got him sitting there, he's upside down, his butt's in the air. I don't know what else to tell you, but yeah, I think I'm gonna turn him into a backpack and put these arms a little closer into the bag. Okay, I went to Walmart the other day and I got some of the Mainstays Sparkle Yarn. And I think that's what you call it, metallic. Mainstays Metallic, Mainstays Sparkle, something like that. But I got these two colors. If you guys know Walmart yarn, you know what I'm talking about. I'll also put a picture in here so you know what it is, or you know what yarn it is. But this is only like $2.97 for a skein of it. And I decided to make this cowl. I It's it's one of my own patterns, I designs. I actually need to make a pattern and uh, tutorial for it. Hopefully someday in the future, I'll make this, but it's super easy. I mean, basic construction, I'll, I'll tell you basic construction. You make the ribbing right here, a little, little strip of it, sew it together, then do about 10 rounds 
of stitching or you know 10 rounds of crochet then the same amount of rows crochet because you want to put a split in there and then pico stitching for those of you who don't know what i'm talking about i seriously i'm working on making tutorials and patterns and stuff like that so hopefully uh, one of those will be coming to you soon <laughs> i was i was hoping to like not tell you about this stuff until i actually write a pattern or get a tutorial for it but i can't it's like first these are the order things go in crochet like my hands actually crocheting that's the first thing my brain thinks about second thing my brain thinks about is um uh like making a video about it and telling you guys about it which is the same thing as making a video and third is oh maybe i should make a tutorial <laughs> Because I want to do, I want to show, and then I want to do the logical part. So anyway, that is this. It's very simple, very easy to make. So while I was on, while I was on this, because I love this yarn, this, this acrylic mainstays yarn is so cute. I thought, well, I'll make my granddaughter one. So I made her one and it was little, see, right? It's a little one, but I thought, I should put a hood on that. So I went on the other side of it and made the hood. And I'm, this is what it looks like on the side. See, it's got this on the side. It's got the little strings. I need to put fur around the edges right now. I mean, I don't have to, but I can. And it's also got a little split right here. I like to put the split in the side so that it comes down a little farther. I guess I could have put a split on both sides but I just kind of like the way it lays, you know, it kind of opens up on this corner, comes down a little lower because I like it to cover this part of my neck. And I like to, it to come down here a little bit, but then it's still up there. I don't know if that makes any sense. Here, let me show you again what it, what it looks like. I need to make an adult size that has a hood on it too. I did find, I've been cleaning out my yarn stash and I did find another, uh, see what I mean? I just like the way this is. I, I could make, I could make the split on both sides, but I kind of like it like this. I think it looks nice. And this split gives it just enough to come down that far. And you could, of course, you can make this with any kind of yarn you want. I like this yarn a lot. And I just, Sparkle is my new favorite yarn at this moment in time and this stitch right here is just single crochet double crochet single crochet double crochet and then when I go back when I turn and go back around double crochet in the single crochets single crochet in the double crochets single crochet so it makes that kind of alternate it gives it texture but it doesn't give too much texture and I'll show you why that's important in just a minute Oh, I also, with the yarn that I had left over from the uh, the hooded cowl for my granddaughter and this cowl right here, I made my granddaughter a little ear warmer headband. It's I would say it's for me, but it's a little too small for me, but it'll fit perfectly on her head. I like the way that looks. When I put it together, I had I had a little more of the brown yarn, and then I had this much of the rose yarn. But I like the way when you sew it together, the two colors look. I think that looks really pretty. So there's that. Next thing, I actually finished a whip. And this started out as Chaos Cow for Affordably Geeky. But I finished it. It's not quite as chaotic because I made a pattern to what, what order I was putting the squares in. But it's these squares right here. I made it with, it's a four weight yarn. It's Yarn B 101 Acetate. That one clearance this last, last year, discontinued yarns. So I used eight colors. I had eight colors of the yarn and then I had more white. So I used white as the main color, the off white and I made squares 
and they're just basic granny squares. If you want to know how to make a basic granny square, like I said, I'll put it in the, there'll be a link for it below. And then I put white on the edge of each one, sew them each up with a white yarn. Actually, I single crocheted them together. I just went along the edges and single crocheted them together. Very simple. There is a bump, like a ridge on the back. And you guys, I still haven't sewn in all my ends or woven in all my ends, but I will get to that. So it's not distracting or anything, especially since it's all in white. So it doesn't make like a huge difference. I like this way of putting it together just because it's fast and I like it. But I still need to weave in the ends and then around the edges, I just granny squared along the edge for two rows. Was it two rows? Yeah. For two rounds because there's the one that was on the square and then one, one. And then I did a, an easy pico stitch all along the edge. Oh, so embarrassing. I wish I would have put in all those ends before I showed you guys, but I couldn't help it. Like I said, I make, then I show, then I think. <laughs> make, I, actually I should say crochet. Crochet, show you guys, and then I think about all the other stuff. But this is going to be, it's going to be a gift for Christmas. So, and that's what this is going to be also. This, this blanket that I'm making back here. I think I I told you guys about this before. This is, well, let me show you again, just in case. I know I showed it on a live that I did with Miss Ursula, OM Granny Square. But I'm making this blanket. It's, it's a crochet as you go. It's supposed to be wavy like that. That's just the nature of these squares. They're half double crochet. I do have a video for how to crochet and put these together. I'll link that as well. So here's another blanket I'm working on. As Like I told you, I've been going through my stash. So I found this yarn right here. This was some millens that I got four or five years ago. I had eight of them. I've used almost half of them by now making this. It's going to be like a throw blanket. Started off in the center. It's a square. And then I don't know if you can tell up here. I'm turning on every round and I'm single crocheting, then double crochet, single crochet, then double crochet. And when I go back around the other way, I single crochet into the double, double crochet into the single, and it makes this kind of, uh, that kind of texture, which I really like. This yarn's pretty cool too. I don't know whether it's Red Heart Super Saver or what it is because the mill ends didn't have any ball bands on them. I think I got them from either Hirschner's or Premier but I love this. I asked my husband what he thought of it and he said it looks like boat camo. So I was like, okay, that's a good name for a square, the boat camo square. So that's what it looks like so far. I'll let you know how big it gets. And I think that's it. That's all I wanted to show you guys this morning. I'm working on a lot more things. I'm, I've been trying to consolidate all my yarn into this room. I know it's a lot, it's a, it's a project. Might not get it all in here. There might be a few bookshelves downstairs that still have yarn in them. That's okay. I'm uh, working on getting whips done and going through my yarn stash. So wish me luck. I feel like I've been crocheting a lot more, getting a lot more things done. I have that I didn't show you right now. A bunch of scraptastic stuff. I'll probably have to make another video for it because there's just so much of it. It's downstairs and I've got a big scraptastic basket all together of blankets that I'm working on to help yarn de stash, you know, how we do. <laughs> and if you, if you don't know what I'm talking about, I've got a few videos on yarn, my yarn stash that are kind of crazy. I've got a whole playlist about them, so uh, 
<laughs> if you want to see a yarn stash, check these out. But I'm not, I'm on, I've put myself on kind of a yarn ban because I really don't need to be buying any more yarn until I use up quite a bit of this. So I am bulk crocheting and having fun doing it. <laughs> okay, you guys have a wonderful, wonderful Sunday or whenever you're watching this. And uh, if you got through the whole video and you've gotten to this point and you still haven't subscribed, please click that subscribe button and uh, you guys have a wonderful day. Love you guys. Bye. Because if you've watched this far, you're crazy like me and, okay, never mind. <laughs>